resource for the sports gamer. What's good, people, and welcome to part seven of our series where I'm going to go over the sleepers of a position that isn't as glamorous as wide receiver, but are QB's best friend in real life and in Madden a lot of the time, and that's the tight ends. And if you liked our series so far or a fan of our work, leave a like down below to help us out. All right, let's get it. The number 10 sleeper is Tyler Higby. He has 80 speed, is an average run blocker, and has respectable receiving ratings of 83 catch, 73 catch in traffic, and 81 spec catch for you to build up with the 23 year old. Number 9 sleeper is Tyler Croft. Croft has above average speed at 81 and acceleration at 86. He's a below average run blocker with a rating of 62, but a backup O lineman has pass block rating of 76. He also has 80 catch and 80 catch in traffic, giving you a solid base to build off of. Number 8 on the list is Trey Burton. Burton is among the more athletic tight ends in the game with 85 speed, 88 agility, and 87 acceleration. Who's pretty good at open field moves once he gets the ball in his hands. He also has 80 spec catch to build up and with his 72 catch in traffic, don't expect him to make the tough catches to start. 7th on the list is Thomas Duarte. The former wide receiver unsurprisingly is strictly a receiving threat because he's a terrible blocker. But with 83 speed, 73 catch in traffic, and 83 spec catch, he has a specific role in your offense already. And at 21 years old, you'll have plenty of time to build up his run blocking to balance him out. The number six sleeper is Will Ty. He won't make the crazy catches, but Ty can develop into making the consistent ones. He has 78 catch in traffic, 74 route running while having 86 speed, giving the 71 overall tight end a good chance to perform for you on the field. Fifth is Michael Pruitt. Pruitt has one of the lower route running ratings on the list, but that won't stop him. He has 82 spec catch, 78 catch in traffic, and 88 jump, giving him the potential to pull down the crazy catches and the chain movers. Number four is Hunter Henry. Oh, you knew he was going to be on the list. Henry is 21 years old and has 79 catch in traffic, 84 speed, 89 acceleration, and most importantly, is an elite blocker for the run and pass game. He even has 72 truck to use when you get bored with all the other things you can do. The number three sleeper is Max Williams. He won't outrun many people with his 80 speed, but Williams is more of the balance type of tight end. He has 84 catch, 85 spec catch, 79 catch in traffic, and 78 run block. So you won't have to go through too many growing pains with the young man as you continue to build him up. Number two is Eric Ebron. Ebron is in the mold of a Jermichael Finley. You can line him up at receiver for a few plays and he'll do just fine. He has 86 speed, 84 jump, and 85 spec catch to make sure of it. At Sports Gamers Online, number one sleeper tight end is Richard Rodgers. With Jared Cook on the team, I'm sure it won't be as hard to pry Rodgers loose from Packers owners. For one, he's only 78 speed, but when you look deeper, you notice the 84 catch, 87 spec catch, 83 catch in traffic, and 75 route running. Not to mention he's only 23, so it's no surprise he's number one on Sports Gamers Online Top 10 Sleeper Tight End list. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the list, and if you have a tight end that you think deserves to be on it, leave a comment down below. And make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Madden 17 content and our next Sleeper video where I go over the Top 10 Sleeper Pass Rushers. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all. good people and welcome to part 5 of our sleeper series and it's time for the receivers. Let's get it. The number 10 sleeper is Sammy Coates. Coates is good at one on one deep balls, beating the press and catching the tough passes with his 87 catching traffic. But don't expect to route anybody up with him for a while. That 58 route runner is a little ugly. He's one of the best run blockers in the whole game which makes sense considering the school he went to and turns into Jerome Bettis once the ball is in his hands with 73 truck and 78 stiff arm. Ninth on the list is Marquise Lee. The USC product at 6 feet has 87 spectacular catch, so he'll win more than his fair share of jump balls. And he can turn 5 yard routes into 10 to 15 yard gains with his yards after the catch ability, highlighted by his 86 elusiveness and 87 juke move rating. And for the guys out there that love blocking receivers, he has 58 run block to start. And to put it in perspective, the highest in the game is 65. Lee's weakness is catching in traffic, but you can easily avoid that considering the stuff he is good at off the bat. Eighth is Braxton Miller. You want to use Miller like a Percy Harvin type because outside of the deep ball, he 